One summer, yes! So exciting, so exciting. Welcome back! And for those who are new here, hi, my name is Daniela and I love talking about books. And in today's video, I just want to talk about all the books that I plan to read in summer. And by all the books, I mean books that I wish to finish until the end of August because throughout the months I will pick some other books to read as well if I'll manage like <laughs> if I'll manage um, I just I pick these books and they are on my bookshelf and they felt very summer themed so I do want to read them in their proper season I don't want to read a book about summer and the ocean in December so I want to read them now, well, until the end of August, so let me tell you all about them. So this video is going to be in two parts. The first one I'm going to talk about themed books, so that ones that I feel like kind of have something to do with summer, and then second part is going to be just books that I really want to read this summer, like have nothing to do with the summer. I just personally want to read them. So let's get into it. Also, I'm going to have my fan throughout the video because it's currently almost the middle of June and I am sweating. It's so warm in here, even though it rained at night and it just, I don't have an air conditioner in my room. So you're going to have to bear with me fanning myself. So yeah, let's go through them. Okay, so these first four books because there's a tiny one as well, are summer themed, so let's go through them. The first one is actually in French, and <laughs> I don't really read in French, but I will try to make myself read in French. Uh, this one is Les Vacances d'Alain. I really hope that focuses. Can you see that? Yes. And this is a very old book. Also, all of these are from a secondhand bookstore that I bought them from last year. So this is in a deplorable condition, but I'm still going to read it. And this is by A.D. Chapochnikova. So maybe a Russian author? I'm not sure. Uh, but this is entirely in French. Probably can see it, but it's in French, trust me. I just hope it's easy French so I can actually read them. But it feels very summer themed. There were pictures. See, there's a person drowning in the water, so very summer themed. <laughs> and I just, like I said, I want to get my summer books in summer. So this is the first one, and I'll tell you all about them as I read them. So be sure to stay in touch i guess uh then the next book is a boy called ocean by chris higgins and just look at this cover can you see that let me just can you see that oh my god it's so beautiful it's just i love this um so this book is about jen and kai who's, who have always been best friends and now kai's feelings are deepening. It's ridiculous to imagine Jen would feel the same, especially she, especially since she has been hanging out with surf bro Maka, the guy everyone fancies. Then Kai makes the snap decision that puts his life in great danger. Strandled at sea with only his thoughts to occupy him, Kai must face some buried truths and confront his future with Jen back on shore, if he can reach her, if the ocean doesn't take him first. So this is giving me life of Pi for some reason, even though there's no tiger on board, but it's just giving me life of Pi with being stranded on the ocean. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. And it's just, I love books with pretty covers. It's the crow in me loves shiny things. Like, love this. So this is the second book. <laughs> then we have uh, Nights of Rain and Stars by Maeve Benchy. And to be 100% sure, to be a hundred percent honest, I cannot tell you if this is a summer book or not. The only thing why I associated it with summer was because of the cover and because it says four strangers met in a Greek tavern. I just assume that anytime they talk about Greek, it's summer because I'm very stereotypical like that. I just, I don't know. 
Um, this book is about Fiona, who is trying to make her family understand her need to follow her own path. Thomas desperately misses his young son and fears that his ex-wife will come between them. Elsa abandoned a successful career, but someone from her past refuses to let her go. And shy, quiet David is determined to make a stand against his overbearing father. Nights of Rain and Stars is a story of one summer and four people, each with a life in turmoil. One summer! Yes! So happy! Oh my god! With the help of Voni, an Irish woman who lives in the village and is now a near native, they find solution, though not necessarily the ones they anticipated. I cannot tell you the excitement and relief I felt when I read One Summer because I didn't read the back of these books. <laughs> like, ah, oh, I'm so excited because previously I have read uh, Maeve Binchy last year. And I saved this for December, so I read it in December because this has snowflakes on the cover, okay? This was a collection of short stories and I cannot remember one that was like Christmassy. Maybe there was one, but most of these aren't. And I was so disappointed. So hearing that this is actually in summer, so exciting, so exciting. So I can't wait to read this. Just this is the third book that I plan to read until the end of August. And the last one in this category, we have Summer Days and Sea Breezes by Carol Matthews. This is very much definitely a summer book because it's in the title. Well, Sunny Days, yeah, it's kind of in the title. And this book cover is just so cheerful and so joyous. And I'm just, I'm so excited to read this. Um, don't know what it's about. Um, I don't want to read all this. Let me read just the last paragraph. <laughs> Bustled out of the boat by Marilyn and encouraged to explore with Ned, Jody soon delights in her newfound freedom, but out of mind isn't out of sight. And when her old life comes knocking, Jody is forced to face reality. Will she answer the call or choose a life filled with sunny days and sea breeze? I'm just, ah, oh, I'm so excited. Like, reading books in their appropriate season just bring me so much joy for absolutely no reason. I just find it so exciting. I'm just so excited. Um, so yeah, that was the first category, books themed with summer things. So now let me talk about all the books I want to read just because I want to read them. Like, that's it. That's the whole reason. Uh, these are books, Ugh. there's a lot of them, but to be fair, I don't plan on reading all of them, okay? That's just not very realistic. So all of these books, if you see my last video, all of them were in that as well. These are books I received for my birthday and I'm super excited to read them. So I want to finish reading them by the end of August, but if I don't, that's perfectly fine because they're not summer themed. It doesn't matter what season I read them in, like at all. So these are the books. So the first one we have White Nights by Fyodor Dostoevsky and I've already started reading it. So I will finish this soon. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, so excited to read this. Uh, this is about two devastating Russian stories of solitude, unrequired love and depravity from beyond the grave. So. I've read like 40 pages so far and I really liked it, like I'm really enjoying this. So this is the first book, let me put it here. Then I have My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfeg. It's just the most stunning cover. I love books with beautiful covers, I just do. And it looks pretty easy to read as well because I have some books where the writing is minuscule and it's so packed in there, like so packed. So um, this just feels like a decent read. So I can't wait to read this. This is about young, three, young, thin, pretty and recent Columbia graduate, an apartment on the Upper East Side of Manhattan paid for by her inheritance. Our narrator has many of the advantages of life, but there is a vacuum at the heart of things. And it isn't just the loss of her parents, or the way her Wall Street boyfriend treats her, or her sadomasochistic relationship with her best friend. In the year 2000, in the world's greatest city, a glitter with wealth and possibility. What could be so terribly wrong? So, 
so excited to read these. I'm so excited about all of the books. I just, I love being excited about reading. It's just such a good thing to be excited about. I'm just, ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Ah, can't wait. And then the others two I'm going to talk about at the same time because um, it's from a series. So you have Heaven's Official Blessings. This is volume two and volume three. And I've already read the volume one and the main characters are like my OTP, my one true pairing. And I'm just oh, so excited. It's just, oh. Can you tell how many times I've said excited in this video? Also, let me show you from the second one. Also, if you haven't read the first, spoiler alert, or the second, because I'm spoiling myself at this point, but look at this art. It's just oh, so beautiful. Whoa, don't fall. Just so beautiful. So I cannot wait to read these. It's just so excited. Again, so excited. So this is book two and this is book three and they're both equally gorgeous and <coughs> I've put myself out of breath. I need to breathe when I talk. Oh God, okay. <sighs> I need air, okay, okay. But anyway, these are the other, oh, these are two other books I'm going to read this summer and I just can't wait. So excited. And then for the last in this category, we have this mammoth, but I am not insane. I'm not going to read every single one of them because there are 50 books in here and it's just a lot. I don't want to make reading like a pain. So I plan to read five or 10, like the first five or the first 10 from this collection. Whoa, don't fall. Um, so yeah, the first, five or ten from this collection uh as you can see there probably i don't know if you can but i'm just so excited also it's nice to have like a little i don't know if i should call it a filler book but i will it's just nice to have like a little divide uh of shorter things when you're reading bigger books and i feel like this will be perfect sometimes i just I want to absorb a story, but I want I don't want to go like 300 pages. I just, I need a shorter format. So these will be perfect, like such a good size. So yeah, I can't wait to read them. Just so excited. Also, I'm dressed for the summer, as you can see with my little dress. Can you see that? And I'm just so excited for the summer. It's already summer, but there's just something about reading in the summer. It brings me back to like school when you were free from school and you didn't have to bother about anything and you could just stay all day doing nothing and just read a book. So I'm really excited again and I'm just, oh, I can't wait. Whoa, where's my fan? Okay. So yeah, also have you seen how my beautiful my fan is? It's just gorgeous. Um, but those were the books that I plan to read this summer and I'm just so excited again and again and again. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I, I don't even know what else to say because I'm so excited. It's just, ah, can't wait. And then um, I also have, like every time I read my books, I also have my reading journal and I add everything there and it's just such a pleasure to add books that I finished reading in there. I also have a video about it, check it out, but it's just like, oh, it's just like a, an extra hit of dopamine. So yes, those are all the books that I want to read this summer. And if you have any that you're planning on reading yourself, please tell me, I'm like so curious what other people are reading. I like, do you keep it season appropriate or do you just read whatever? Or do you have like something specific you want to read? And I just like, Please tell me, I'm so curious and so nosy, so I'm, I'd be delighted to hear about them. So leave a like, leave a comment, do all that stuff, and please subscribe, because I have some great videos and you'll also get to see how I feel about these books that I've said that I will read, if I read them. So yes, that was it, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls